How's it going guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Heli Build. I haven't done this in a while, so and there's been a lot of new blocks uh, and components that have come out uh, in updates. So this episode is just going to be me going over um, what we have and just updating it. Um, which I started off, as you can see, by completely stripping out the uh, cockpit interior. And because there are new pilot seats now, they don't have the massive um, blocky uh, thing that blocks blocks the front vision. You can actually look down to the side now. Uh, I put a little window in the side there, which would be pretty cool. You can actually uh, see down outside the helicopter while you're in first person, which is great. And there's also new uh, new blocks, so I'm just tidying up the nose a little bit with the new blocks, which is great. There they are, the new seats. As you can see, there's going to be more room in the cockpit now uh, because because of them. So I have a lot more to work with, and I think it really helps having just more space. And I decided to go with a control panel system that was a bit different from the other one. The other one was kind of basic and didn't really bring out. It didn't really wow as you first saw it. So this one I have a pivot and I'm simply going to set that to a small value. So it just turns and it will be angled. So when you're sitting in the seats it looks um, flush and it's just nicer, which is great. And then here I'm just putting in uh, all the dials and outputs that you might need a helicopter. And what I like to do is place all my stuff down before I start wiring it in uh, and doing all the logic just so I can see what it's going to be like and then if I want to change it I don't uh, waste any time uh, doing all the logic for it again. And now I'm just putting in the constant number output. Set it to 0 0.32. Uh, that's a good angle. It gives it about 45 degrees um, normally. If you wanted to use that elsewhere in one of your creations, that's fine. Then I'm just powering up the new components. And in another video, I'm going to be starting to wire up um, all the new stuff to the engine and the gyro that was in it previously. There's no really need to change any of the engine components right now because they they work, uh, quite frank. So there's no point. But I'll probably be just um, getting all this in, and then after I make it work and everything, it'll probably just be uh, looks after that. Um, just detail and paint and stuff. I'm still not too happy with the paint job. There's just bits where it just doesn't work yet, so I'm probably going to be going over that uh, in the episodes to come. But that's fine.
then here I use a microcontroller off the workshop uh, which is a simple well not simple uh, it's a LUA script which um, outputs an artificial horizon based on um, tilt sensors which uh, I'm just putting around the helicopter now and uh, if you want to go use this specific one uh, I'll link it in the description for you guys because I'm not very good at coding I'm more of a block kind of guy as you can see there is lots of um, complicated stuff there so I will I am trying to learn it uh, and I'll maybe make a tutorial on it later um, if you want but yeah again just using the new blocks here on the nose just tied it up really we were kind of limited by the just 90 degree um, angles and the 45 degree angles of course but now we can have very smooth um, angles now so we can make our creations a lot more realistic looking uh, which is great we want that And here I decided to go ahead and detail um, the engine a little bit more with just some uh, rocket fuel components which look quite good. And here I start to name all the different buttons and dials on the instrument panels. Again, I'm going to be going over um, all of the wiring uh, in another video. Now I'm not going too detailed with this, obviously in your creations the more time you spend on it and the more detail you put into it the better it's going to be in the end and that's pretty much um, building in Stormworks the longer you spend on it and the more detail I've seen some amazing creations and uh, it's just they take ages to build um, but if you're willing to put that in you're gonna have a really good really good plane or whatever it is um, so yeah I could I could have gone I could have done a whole episode of me just doing this uh, cockpit here and I could have spent ages on it and it would have looked really good but there are other parts of the helicopters I want to do, and I don't want to make a bunch of episodes for you guys. Um, it does take a while, but if you want it to work, you don't need to spend a lot of time on it at all. Because um, you don't need to. But yeah, that's going to be it, guys, um, for this episode. 
Uh, if you did like today's episode and you want to see more, uh, hit that subscribe button and the like button. And uh, try and get a thousand subs. So, yeah.